Two hand wrist grab escape. This is when your opponent is grabbing and pulling with uh, two hands on one. So first thing I need to do is make sure I establish a good base here. So I want my foot on the outside of their foot. If I put my foot on the inside, you run the risk of them tripping you so they can kick that foot out. Most of my weight is gonna go onto that forward foot. So if he uses his back leg here and kicks that out, uh, you're gonna fall. So I always want to put my foot towards the outside if possible. I want to lean my weight back onto this leg so that if he lets go, I don't fall flat on my butt. So if I put both of my feet here and start pulling and he lets go, I'm gonna fall. And now I'm in a very terrible position with my attacker over top of me. So usually your foot has to go at least toe to toe, but oftentimes past their foot. If I just go toe to toe, it's a little harder. And anytime my hips start coming over top of that foot, I'm going to get pulled out of my base here. So once I've stopped him from pulling me, I can complete the move. Anytime my feet are moving and he's dragging me, I can't do the move. So, or at least not as effectively. So if I can stop that dragging motion and firmly plant my feet, it's gonna be a lot easier to execute the move. So with this move, I'm going to break through the weakest part of his grip, which is going to be his thumbs. Okay, with a single grab, there's usually a gap, or we're gonna turn our thumb into that to create that gap, and that's where I'm going to pull through. But with the two hand, there's no gap. His thumbs have closed the gap, and his fingers have closed the gap. So we're not gonna pull through this because there's so much to break through there. So we're always gonna go through the thumbs. It's the weakest part. So I'm gonna point my thumb towards that, and I'm gonna reach and grab my knuckles right here, right over top. Don't grab the hand any other way, but this way, okay? Very important. If you start pulling any other direction, you run the risk of hurting your wrist. And there's just so much give there that that pull becomes a lot weaker. So going right over top, pointing that thumb straight up, I'm going to still have my stance open from securing my base. And I want to pull with all of my body weight by leaning away when I pull on that. So I'm pulling this into this opening here and not into my own face, okay? The kids will do this every time. And I've even seen adults do it, it's great. So I'm pulling into this open area. And really it's my body weight doing the pull. If I just pull with the arms, you're probably not gonna be able to break this grip on someone that's strong, okay? So this is kind of the traditional way that we do it by pulling. But again, just like the single hand wrist grab escape, there's a better way. So after stopping the pull, I'm going to close the space a little more so that I can lever my elbow in. Okay, so instead of pulling the wrist away, I'm going to drive the elbow in. And the reason this works is again, we're going to use his own hands here as the fulcrum. So I'm gonna pivot right here. And I'm gonna use his own hands to break through his thumbs. So if I just imagine like I'm gonna to touch my elbow to his body, that's what's gonna break the grip through those thumbs. So I really want to drive that elbow in and then high. So when we're practicing this with a partner, just be careful not to strike your partner 
in the face. Okay. As soon as that grip breaks, sometimes it goes flying. Okay, so just be careful there. If we were really doing this move, hey, that's just an added bonus, right? So we can follow through with that elbow with the strike. And even though that's not the primary purpose of this, that is a nice little benefit there if you want to. I'm not usually a fan of striking in self-defense because usually smaller people don't grab you. It's usually some big person. And so striking them is probably just going to piss them off more. But it's always an option. So secure your base, close the gap to where I can touch my elbow to the body. If my elbow can touch the body, I know I'm close enough. If I'm too far away, it just won't work. Okay? There's just not enough leverage there. But by coming in just a little more, boom. And you'll feel this should be really easy. And when I say easy, doable. Even if you're a petite woman or your partner's just big and strong, this will work most of the time. The traditional way, if you're really petite, sometimes that's just not enough. You just don't have the body weight to pull and the strength to pull. So rather than relying on all this momentum and strength, we can take advantage of this leverage here.